Hey guys, welcome to another Q&A session from the Reaper blog. I'm John, the YouTube channel just reached 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. That shows me that you're interested in the content that I produce and want to see more. First question comes from Robbie. How do I add items to an already existing group? Simple answer is to just select them and hit that group action again. If you've already done a bunch of editing and you forgot to put an item into the group before you did the edits, or another track was sent to you um, at a later date, you can duplicate one of the edited tracks and then replace the source file with that other file that you forgot. And then all those edits will be applied to that new audio file. Next question comes from Gman J on the toolbars and docs video. How do I apply this to a dual screen setup? I can't figure out how to dock my mixer on the right when docked. Floating windows has always been my way to go, but then there's the start stop problem with the spacebar, and something is preventing me from extending my main window to the other screen. I'm running on Mac. All right, so I've got an extra monitor. I'm going to set that up and let's see what happens. Six and a half hours later. So here's what I found. At least on Mac, you can't extend the main window beyond the first uh, monitor. You can move it from one monitor to another, but you can't stretch it across two. You can move your mixer to the other window, and if you're having a problem with starting and stopping, it might be linked to using bridged plugins, so using 32-bit plugins in 64-bit Reaper. Question three, Apinaka Pin Astorba. You can choose any name you want on YouTube. Why did you choose that? He's asking, in what ways are the VCA groups different from using folders in Reaper 4? In some ways, they're similar, and there's a lot of differences. VCAs only do volume and panning. They don't process any audio. It's just a control signal to the slave tracks. Automation that you put on the VCA group can be applied to the individual slave tracks, uh, like I showed in the tour video. And another thing is that the VCAs do not have to be directly above the, uh, the tracks that it's controlling in the mixer or range view. And you can use both VCAs and folders. Uh, they have different uses and different purposes and one is not better than the other. There's a really good post on the forum that I'll link to in the description and in the blog post. Next question comes from Matthias Carlo. Yesterday I exported a video that was two hours long and was more than two gigabytes in size. Do not need excellent quality, it is for YouTube, but do you know how to reduce the file size by 70 or 80 percent without losing much quality and having to use another software such as Handbrake? I'd like to do everything in Reaper to optimize workflow. A two hour video that's two gigabytes in size is already a tiny file. For YouTube, I would try to get even better quality than that. So increase your bit rate so you're getting smoother video and it's a lot easier to watch. The last question comes from Veal. Hi, I have a very annoying problem when using some synth VSTIs in Reaper. When I press play, the preset always changes back to the default preset, no matter if I press the spacebar or the play button. Does anybody know how to prevent this from happening? So this usually happens if you have a MIDI file from another program. There are control changes embedded in that file that are telling the synth to go back to preset one. Go into that MIDI file uh, through the MIDI editor, open up the CC lane. You'll see a dot in that list for anything that's uh, been edited. Select everything you don't want and then delete them. Pretty simple to fix and definitely annoying. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have questions, send them in anytime. I try to answer them right away. And if I think it's appropriate for a video, I'll make a video either like this or something dedicated to that. I've got a bunch of stuff coming up that's already recorded. I just need to edit it. And I think you guys are really going to like it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.